Pretty hazy. We should send it. Let's try to get across. Just gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta get hyped. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, look at this. All right, hopefully I'm recording now. So everybody just kind of hooked a thermal right now and it looks like they're... Oh yeah, everybody except for uh, one guy already crossed. I need to fix my crap here. Boy, I haven't felt thermal this strong in a while. Almost forgot what it was like. I came across way too low. This is no joke. Yeah, I've never been this low. Need some lift. Jeez. Got nothing. Uh oh. No. No. Can't tell which direction the wind's blowing either. Shoot. really close. Come on, baby. Give me a boost. It's nice when you're down low, um, you know, not having a burial, but once you get up high, you're gonna need one. But today I just, I feel like turning it on, man. Look at that. So beautiful. This really is a gem of San Diego that not many people know about. Thank you. 
Creeping up, climbing up a little bit at a time. See one guy at the rock pile. made it up that was super sketchy and super low and I learned my lesson Wow all right Ethan's in something nice right there I need to try to get in that tell which direction the wind is blowing. Vario says straight south. It's actually uh, pretty buoyant for as stable as the air is. It's like uh, Ethan's making the trek back to Blossom. I'd like to get some more altitude before I head back. So this is exactly where I needed to uh, to have some kind of a variometer beeping telling me if I'm going up or down because I can't tell too far off the ground. Wow, and some sink right here. Shoot. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is try to get up over here and then head back. Um, the guys just got on the radio and said that it's shut down at Blossom, so I'm going to need to uh, need to get up here before before it gets too late. The good thing is is that this still has some sun, but. Uh, to be determined if I can get anything to get back up and make it. Feels like the wind's still kind of cooking. All right, 2951, I'm gonna head back. Looks like we got about a 10 mile an hour headwind. I got Blossom in my sights. All right, finally got a trip to uh, El Cap. Woohoo! Super fun. That was awesome. So I'm heading back to uh, launch right now. Hopefully I can make it with, so I don't have to hike. <laughs> so stoked right now i love it it's been so long all right i better put this thing down all right i got a question for the experts um here's my bolts this is full speed bar for me I can't put any more speed bar. I can't, I don't think anyways, let me just, yeah, that's, that's as much speed bar as I can press down. Is that normal? And how do I set that up? All right, there's my runway. Let's see if I can make it all the way back to the, where the Jeep is. Well, that's not how 
supposed to go? Woo! Dude, I didn't think I was gonna make it oh at God, all. Like, oh, he's going to land. <laughs> How low are you? Um, I don't know. I didn't have my instruments on. Oh, really? And um, I just wanted to go. All right, finally got an amazing trip to the El Capitan. I'm and so rock stoked. Pile. Yeah, and the rock pile. Not knocking the rock pile. <laughs> it was, but it was real. It was a miracle, and I learned my lesson. Uh, I, I went across too low, but I knew that the weather, from what the weather, the direction of the wind, as long as there's a little south and the conditions are good, you got to trust your weather sometimes. And I did, and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to fly for the next. It's supposed to rain all this week for like a whole week. But this hey, week. Robert, tell the folks uh, how high you were when you left. Um, I don't know how high I was when I left. I, I was think a, there's a lesson there too. Man. Yeah, no, I, I, I knew what I was doing. Okay. If, if I would have looked at instruments, then I wouldn't have went. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't already, hit the bell so you can catch the shows that we do on paraglidingtalk.com. Paragliding Talk is um, something we do on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and we always have a blast, and you can learn something about paragliding or paramotoring. So, all right. Well, happy flying. If I don't see you in the air, I'll see you on the air. Later. <laughs>